Savannah? Joshua, I have late night conversations with the moon. He tells me about the sun and I tell him about you. I always knew that one day I would make you my wife. Here we are in a whole different country on the other side of the pond saying our vows to one another. I've been waiting my entire life for this special day. I simply cannot wait to see what the future has in store for us. I love that our souls met long before our eyes did. And I love that you're the person I'll never stop searching for in a crowded place. You are literally my other half. You give me a whole different outlook on life itself. I don't feel like I fell in love with you. I walked into love with you with my eyes wide open, choosing to take each and every step. <laughs> My love, I promise to always put you first. I promise to always love you, respect you, cherish you, and support you in your goals in life while growing old with you. Today I promise to encourage and inspire you, to uplift and support you, to keep your eyes on the stars and your feet on the ground. I promise you I will be faithful and worthy of your love and trust. I promise to love you in good times and bad, when life is easy and when it is hard, when our love is simple and when it is an effort. I love you. Welcome everyone on this special day. We were gathered here today surrounded by the beauty of creation and nurtured by the sights and sounds of nature to celebrate the wedding of Savannah and Joshua. So if everybody could join in around us and just lay a hand on them as we say our prayers of the faith. We pray for Savannah and Joshua as they begin their married life together. May their home be full of joy and laughter and may they always find happiness in each other. Lord hear us. So around the world, the wedding rings are the strongest, most visible sign of the bond these two people are about to make. And with the ring warming in the ceremony, the rings will not only be a gift from one to another, but will be given the love, support and wisdom of all here present. So Joshua, do you take Savannah in marriage to be your wedded wife, to share your life as your friend, your love, your companion, forsaking all others? I do. And do you, Savannah, take Joshua in marriage to be your wedded husband, to share your life as your friend, your love, your companion, forsaking all others? I do. Therefore, on your behalf, on behalf of the community, in the sight of God, and I declare them to be husband and wife. So Joshua, you may kiss your bride. Savannah and Joshua, new Mr. and Mrs. Benz. In a hundred lifetimes, in a hundred worlds, I'd find you and I'd choose you over and over without pause or hesitation. I'd choose you knowing there's still trails we must travel and mountains left to climb. I love your contagious laugh and smile and simply everything about you. Love is looking out in the same direction. It is pushing together towards far horizons hand in hand. All those conversations that began with when we're married and continued with I will, you will, we will. All those late night talks that included someday, somehow and maybe. And all those promises that are unspoken matters of the heart. All these common things and more are the real process of a wedding. May the road rise to meet you. May the wind be always at your back. 
May the sun shine warm upon your face, the rains fall soft upon your fields, and until we meet again, may God hold you in the palm of his hand. I stand before you today ready to be your wife, ready to be everything God intends me to be. Through the tough times, I will always be there for you, and for the best times, I promise to always be there with you. I simply cannot wait to be your husband. I can't wait for the rest of my life with you. Savannah. Joshua. I, I love, love you. you.